Hello everyone and welcome back to another Code.org video. Today we are doing lesson number four, debugging with Scrat. This is in the Express Cor Course 2018 version. Um, I've already done lessons 21 through 40. If you need those lessons, you can check another video in this playlist if you're in the playlist, or you can search elsewhere on my channel and you will find those videos too. All right, so let's get started with lesson four. So puzzle one obviously is just another video which I do strongly encourage you to watch, but I'm not playing here for copyright reasons. So we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. All right, so this is all about debugging. And for those of you that don't know, debugging just means going through and finding pieces of your code that make your program not work at all or make it not work completely as it should. Uh, developers are constantly debugging applications. That's why you get updates to applications sometimes on your phone or tablet that don't seem to do anything, but really it's just fixing issues that you or some other people may have been having. So here we go. It says right off the bat, this code isn't quite right. Fix the code to help Scrat get to the acorn. So we'll hit OK. We're going to go ahead and run this just to see what it does. Oh, let me turn off the audio. OK, so Scrat only moved forward twice. It looks like he needs to move forward three times, but instead of doing three move forwards, let's just use two blocks and use a repeat loop to move forward three times. So now when we reset and run, we'll see that Scrat goes and gets the acorn. So that's an example of debugging. It's a pretty basic example. However, um, you will be doing this a lot, especially in later lessons. You'll have to go back and look at your code and see what you did wrong and go back and fix it because you don't always get it right the first time and that is okay. All right, so let's go ahead and drag for puzzle number three. It looks like we need Scrat to move forward one, two times, turn right, move forward one, two times. So it looks like looks like we're pretty close here, but why don't we just say move forward, move forward, turn right, and we'll just repeat this whole thing two times and use one less block. I think that should get us there. So he's gonna move forward, move forward, turn right, move forward, move forward. And then he is going to turn right when he's finished, but that doesn't matter a whole lot. So it says, yay, congratulations, you've completed puzzle three. We're going to move on to puzzle four. I'm trying to keep the, these videos a bit shorter than my previous ones. Okay, so here again, it says something is not quite right. Remove blocks to get Scrat to the acorn. So you can see here, he's moving forward three times when really he only needs to move forward one time. So let's say get rid of these two, and we'll just say move forward, turn left, move forward. And that's really all he needs to do. So he's going to move forward, turn left, move forward, and that is it. All right, so puzzle number four is complete. All right, puzzle five. So here you can see someone has their directions mixed up. Can you help? So that's a hint right there telling us that he's turning the wrong direction. So we need him to move forward, turn left, move forward, turn right, move forward. So we need move forward, turn left, move forward, turn right, move forward. Okay, so that's all we really needed to change was that one direction. And just like that, we're good. And we're ready to move on to puzzle number six. Okay, so it says these gray blocks are locked and cannot be deleted. So we have to use these gray blocks. So we'll close out of that. It says debug this level by rearranging and changing blocks. So Scrat needs to move forward one, two times, turn right, move forward one, two times, turn left, move forward one, two times. So he's got to move forward, move forward, turn right, move forward, move forward, turn left, move forward, move forward, right? So let's go ahead, let's let that run, see if we did it right. Turned right, turns left, move forward twice again, and that's it, great. Now remember, when you're using repeat loops, you don't need to use repeat if you're only doing something twice, because either way you're going to be using two blocks and it might end up just wasting your time and complicating your code without really needing to. Okay, so here we need Scrat to move forward, turn left, move forward, turn right, move forward, move forward, turn right, move forward. So we have move forward, turn, well that needs to go left and then he needs to move forward only one time, turn right, which that's correct then. Oops, no, I removed that turn. Here we go. All right, there we go. Okay, so he's got to move forward, turn left, move forward, turn right, move forward, move forward, turn right, move forward. I think that's it. I think this will run. 
So again, these parts of code.org are not very difficult. It's just thinking about what your character needs to do on screen and then creating the code to mimic that. All right, the challenge puzzle. So I'm not going to skip it because I never do. All right, so it says debug this level by rearranging, adding, and deleting blocks. Move forward, turn left, move forward, move forward, turn left, move forward, turn right, move forward. So we have move forward, turn left, move forward twice, turn left again, move forward once, turn right, and then move forward again. And that should get him there. So you can see. Yes. All right, cool. And then what's helped me, especially when doing this block style programming, sometimes it helps to actually have a piece of paper and draw the path on the paper that your character needs to take because that helps make it easier to decide whether you're going to turn left or whether you're going to turn right because you can orient the paper in the direction that you want to face. So right now, you know, it's kind of complicated to think, okay, this He's going to have to turn right, but he's actually going to the left of the screen because he's coming towards you, you know, so it can help to get out a piece of paper. All right, so here we have, look closely at the code below. What is the first bug that will make this program fail? So we have move forward, move forward, turn right, oh, excuse me, move forward, move forward, turn right, so that looks fine, move forward, move forward, okay, so it says left, that's the bug right there, so he needs to turn right again, so it says scrat will... Uh, okay, Scrat will go the wrong way after his final turn. That's the right answer, I believe. So we're going to let that run. He's going to turn right. And he should turn right, but he's actually going to turn left. And then he's going to fall. Okay, so that was it. We got that correct. Let's go ahead and continue. All right, so here we are now in the last puzzle of this lesson. So you can see we need Scrat to move forward one, two, three times, turn right, and move forward one more time. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that, and we'll just go here, make this three times, turn right, and then move forward one more time. I guess I didn't need to delete that block initially. And we're using one less block than we need to because we're using two blocks here instead of three. It would work if you put three move forwards here. However, using this repeat loop lets us use less blocks. Hit run, turn right, yay. Okay, cool. So that is basically it for lesson four. Um, I guess I'll stop this video here. If you guys have any questions about these videos, especially these beginning lessons, go ahead and ask them in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer them or even make a separate video just demonstrating how to use certain aspects of code.org because even though these videos do a decent job, the ones that are in code.org, I don't think they fully cover the content in the way that they should to explain it to kids, which I guess is the teacher's job, but some of you may be doing this independently or have a teacher that's never used this style of teaching before. So anyway, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, leave a like. If it didn't, you know what to do. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.